Welcome again. We continue with chess today with the AIM Chess US Rapid Preliminaries. This was uh, Firuzia uh, versus uh, Carlsen, the world champion. And Firuzia is obviously white. Magnus Carlsen is black. And let's take a look how this game transpired. We go e4, d5, e takes d5, queen to d5, uh, takes uh, d5. That's a quick opening here by Magnus. Look at the queen. What did they say? They're not supposed to have queen out that early. But anyway, what, what, who am I to say anything? This is the world champion. Knight to c3. Queen to a5. d4. Knight f6. Knight f3. Uh, bishop to f5. Knight to e5. c6. Bishop to c4 e6 g4 okay it's getting kind of crowded jockeying for position again the middle the middle game here bishop to g5 h4 knight to uh to d7 and then what let's see knight takes and knight takes so we have exchange here h5 What will the bishop do? Well, he moves on along to target the, the rook on h1. White castles, bishop to d5, knight to uh, takes on d5. Uh, we take on uh, the, the, the pawn takes on d5, bishop back to d3, bishop to d6, queen to f3. A long castle by Magnus Carlsen. He took his time to castle while uh, Firuza castles a while ago. <clears throat> Bishop to uh, let's see the castling and then Bishop to uh, e3. Okay, he has some predecessors games. Let's ignore that. It can just continue with the raw game, as they say. G6. Okay, uh, it doesn't seem like Magnus was really uh, on his, like, you know, aggressive, well, he was aggressive with his queen in the beginning, but the continued play is kind of, like, erratic a little bit here, not, not really figuring out what, what he's going to do, uh, then rook to, uh, f8 18th move is a3 f5 c4 so we're just moving uh the pawns here e5 now the commentators during this time were really interested in this is the way these pawns are structured here there's three pawns facing and now look at this. I think this should be another one of those posters for on the wall. You know, I really, and this would, I would of course label it Fruza Magnus Carlsen game. You know, what happened next? And let's see what really happened next. For, for whom does it go downhill? Can you tell for whom it will? We shall see. Well, stick, stick to the end so you shall see what happened. Something unbelievable happened. Uh... But anyway, the queen goes to c7, uh, c5, so we are breaking the, the three, uh, three pawns there for white. Bishop to e7 retreats. It says here, threatens to win with e4, but uh, what happened? Bishop went to d5 let's look at that bishop went to d5 e4 queen moves to h3 okay another pawn push there f4 bishop just steps back to d2 bishop to g5 uh, c6 that's that's danger danger knight to f6 
this is kind of like uh, a little uncomfortable here, right? There's going to have to be decisions made. Look at the diagonal that the white queen is on. Obviously, the white pawn is blocking anything, but uh, certainly it's interesting what will happen in the future here. Queen takes on b7, pointing at the white bishop. Rook check on uh, c1. King is hiding to b8 behind the queen. Bishop to c6, attacking that black queen. And now, queen to e7. There are several choices that could be made. I mean, the time is low. We're getting kind of low for uh, the players here. Rook to c5. It says that a rook to uh, b5 would win, but it, this didn't happen. e3. Uh, f takes on e3. Let's see. Yes, the uh, f pawn takes on e3. F takes, um, let's see, F takes on e3, bishop goes back to e1, knight to e4, queen to h2, notice this, uh, open diagonal directly on the, queen, on, the, on the king there, far away, quite far away, look at this diagonal, look at this whole diagonal, isn't there just one little step back by the uh, white queen. Pressure is mounting. King escapes to c8. Attacking with the bishop on d7. And also look the uh, uh, the rook there is also attacking. So what will Magnus do? Very critical movements here. King two takes on d7. Rook on c7. Check. Now, where do you think the king should have gone here to continue trying to save this game for black? Let me see. Do you know? Have you figured it out? You can just look to the right. On my screen, it tells you. But anyway, this is what happened in the, in the game. I'll tell you in a moment where he, he could have done. So I'll go back. I'll just finish with the game first. So this was the error of where the king went. And surprise, surprise, what did Alareza do? Bam! Here we are. A checkmate. It's very rare to see. I tell you, it's a rare moment to see uh, Magnus Carlsen, world champion, uh, checkmated in this fashion. You know, usually kind of, they kind of he both sides they see something losing, resigns. Maybe did he not see this coming? You know, was there's like a blind spot of some sorts uh, for this game? Only they. No, for sure. So let's go back to the critical moment where should have the king gone, taken here. But did you guess correctly? The king should have gone to e8. And this way, this way would have continued to still stay alive. But that's not what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you saw what happened and it's just unbelievable that this uh, was not seen. But, you know, each game is so different. You never know. Uh, the, these are human beings playing this game. And with human beings, anything can happen, can it? Because we're a little bit more complicated than machines. All right, thank you so much for watching. Hit like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more, more content. Au revoir.